Hi guys, Fab from Hoosh Marketing here. And today I'm gonna to be covering how to get the most out of the Marketer community. Now what a lot of Marketer users don't realize is the community is the actual first point of call internally within Marketo when you have a product question. And that means it's very much an underutilized resource among the Marketo user base. Now, today I'm going to cover all the tips and tricks you need to get the most out of that community. We'll be covering how to find solutions faster, so this is not just searching for issues, but then when you can't find those solutions, how to dig deeper, how to get faster replies from Marketo support. So that's all about communication and helping Marketo support to help you. How to leverage the latest product releases. So getting that information, learning the new product features and actually using it. How to take refresher training. So where to find it and how to get the most out of it when you forget certain product features. And then the last bit is leveraging the power of the other marketer users out there by using discussions, and, and these are quite powerful. When you have a problem or query about Marketo, it should be mandatory to check the community before you contact Marketo support. 99% of the time, you're going to find the answer yourself within a few clicks, which is, and even if it takes you a few minutes, it's still much more effective than contacting Marketo support and waiting potentially hours for a reply. It's actually a no-brainer. To access the community within Marketo, we simply click on the community button at the top here, which will take us to the community home. Now, if you're not familiar with the home, uh, it starts with the query page. So let's look for something. Let's say we wanted to embed a form onto our web page. So we could start typing embed form. Now you'll notice that there's auto suggestion here and straight away I can see embed form in website. So that probably sounds like the one I'm looking for. So rather than go do a full search, I can just grab one of the auto suggestions. And much like Google, it's much quicker to find what I'm looking for. And then straight away you can see I'm finding the put a marketer form on non-marketer page. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now the trick is to be persistent. If you can't find the answer straight away, the next place to look at is discussions. Now discussions are great. Discussions are where people are essentially having a chat among themselves and sometimes with support about issues. So dig a little deeper than just the help articles. The next place to look is to scroll through the discussions and find uh, what what is out there. So for example, marketer form on a website and someone's asking about that. Now if we click on this, it'll give me some more detail because it's someone that's asked that same question as me and they've been given some links to articles by employees, but also generally just anyone chiming in and giving their opinions. So you can definitely find a lot of information within discussions. Now if you can't find the answer immediately, don't assume it's not there. Try a few variations of keywords, so I might say form and, um, on a website, you know, and I can see when I went form on, I can see, look, form on non-marketo page. So you can get information um, as you type, which is great. But let's say I went marketo page, there you go, form on non-marketo page, that could be a good one. Now. Just try a few variations of the keywords until you find something. Now, at the end of the day, even if it takes you five to 10 minutes to find the answer, that's still a lot faster than going support, raising a case, and waiting for an initial contact. And as time goes by, you'll get much quicker at finding the right queries and the right answers. So just to recap quickly, use the auto suggestion, try more than once, and check the discussions tab as well. Sometimes you're just not going to be able to find the solution in the community. or Sometimes there's a bug or an area that you're going to need to contact support for. Now support cases can be created and managed within the marketer community, which I'm going to take you through. But remember, it's always faster to find answers or training on the marketer community than to go through support. It's in your own best interest. Now, let's say we have a problem with Design Studio and we have a template email template that we can't save. For some reason, we just can't seem to save it and there's some error we can't resolve that we've checked the community, can't find the answer. So what do we do? We go to the community by clicking the community button and we're going to raise a support case. So if you look at the top, there's a support little menu item here. So we're gonna click on that 
and you'll notice on the left there's a create case button so let's click on that now there's a few things we need to set firstly priority now if you just hover over it'll give you a little description of the priorities essentially p1 and p2 you don't want to be using those unless you can't really access to marketo or something seriously broken that's preventing campaigns from going out or emails are not going out p3 and p4 is generally what you want to use so in this case uh, we'll probably look for a p3 because it is a minor issue but it is impacting usability because we can't get our emails out so well, let's leave it on p3 the e email CC list is a handy way to either get a copy of the communications with support this is especially useful if you have team members that aren't necessarily marketo or just you just want them CC so for example I might um, CC my colleague Jenny and now she'll be included on all the communications back and forth with support next thing we need to do is select the type of case so in this case it's design studio if we flip back we just look at where we are so we're in design studio great that's where the error is occurring so we select design studio and the sub issue because it's not a social campaign we just leave it at none so we can't really make it any more specific now B put as much detail in the subject as you can so for example can't save the email template in design studio now you'll notice it's suggesting help articles but I've already searched the community so none of these are going to help me now one of the absolute most important things to do is to put a URL of the actual page or problem you're having so if we flip back this is the asset I'm having a problem with the Hoosh CTA three column template so what I'm going to do is copy this URL up here and I'm going to paste it down here and then I'll put a description right so here I'm, I'm giving a bit more detail now once I save this case it'll start that email communication back and forth what's super critical and this will help you a lot is to go back to this and if you're getting that email message when perhaps you're trying to approve it or save it take a screenshot of that and make sure you include the uh, URL bar up the top here when you take that screenshot keep that aside so that when support get in contact with you you can take that screenshot and email it to them now if you do these things it will help support track down the issue a lot faster it'll give them more detail and at the end of the day it'll help you get a resolution faster